Okay, so today we are going to do 3.3a in this video, the first part of the section. And so we're going to talk about truth tables for negation, conjunction, and disjunction. So we're going to do the simple two statement versions in this video, and then we're going to do the three statement versions in the next video. So we're going to go ahead and use the definitions, right, of negation, conjunction, and disjunction <clears throat> to construct some truth tables. And so if you remember, uh, the negation is just the not, the conjunction is just the and, and the disjunction is just the or. All right. And so then in the last uh, part of the video, we're going to determine the truth value of a compound statement for a specific uh, case. All right. So here we go. Negation is the opposite truth value from the statement. All right, so here we have a statement P and it could be either true or false. And so not P then is the opposite truth value. And so if P is true, then not P is false. And if P is false, then not P is true. Okay. For the conjunction, the conjunction is only true when both statements are true. So if you have a false, you are done, right? So let's go ahead and put these two statements together. And so P is going to be true. Q could be true. P could be true when Q could be false. P could be false when Q is true. And P could be false when Q is false. And I'd like you to note um, there's a structure here. Follow this structure of the true, true, false, false, right? And then the true, false, the alternating here, true, false. And this structure right here is really helpful, and that makes us happy. So don't forget this as you go forward. All right, now let's finish the table. Remember, it's only true when both statements are true. Here, both statements are true, so the and is true. Here, one statement is false. So the and is false. Here one statement is false. So the and is false. Here at least one statement is false. And so the and is false. And so this example is pretty straightforward. And that makes us happy. All right. The disjunction is only false when both statements are false. So if, as long as you have one true, here you're good. Right. So again, I'm going to start off with that structure we talked about in the last uh, slide. Where I'm going to have true, true, false, false. And for P, Q, for Q here, I'm going to have true, false, true, false, following that same structure. So now I have two trues, so it's true. I have at least one true, so it's true. I have at least one true, so it's true. I don't have at least one true, so it's um, false. Okay? <clears throat> so that's for the disjunction. Now, let P and Q represent the following statements. Well, is 10 greater than 4? Yes, that's true. So I know the truth value of P. Q, is 3 less than 5? Yes, that's true. So I know the value of Q. So now, if P is true and Q is true, then that means this statement is going to be true because both statements are true. If you have not P, I need the opposite truth value here. So I'm going to have a false and Q is still true. But here I have at least one false, and so the and statement is false. So it's really nice when we actually know the value of the statements. We don't have to construct a truth table, and that makes us um, very happy. Right? Just fill in the values. So again, we have our same two true statements. But now we're going to use the disjunction or, and so I'm going to have true or true and that is going to be true and then you have not P so the opposite of true is false or not Q so it's the opposite of the true is the false and here I don't have at least one true so the whole statement is false and again you don't need a truth table when you know the value of your statements so now we're going to construct a slightly more difficult one okay for not 
and then in parentheses P and Q. So what we need is by the dominance of connectives, I have to do inside the parentheses first. I've got to do the and, and then I'll do the negation of the and. So I need my two statements to start off with. I'm going to follow that same structure of true, true, false, false, and true, false, true, false. Okay. And then for the and, you have to have both true. Both are true, true. At least one false, false. At least one false, false. At least one false, false. Okay? So now I need another column to take care of the not right here. Okay? And so now I have to take the true and negate it and make it false. I have to take the false and negate it and make it true. Take the false and negate it and make it true. Take the false and negate it and make it true. And now this is how you do it when the statement is a little bit more difficult. But you're always going to start off with the statements, okay? All the statements you need, okay? And then you're going to follow the dominance of connectives by working usually from left to right. And this is going to look back on the previous column or two. So you always want to be looking back to the nearby column, right, to get your next column filled in. When they're far apart, it makes it really hard. It's a lot easier to make mistakes. And so there's a little tip, and that makes us happy. All right, so now we just have a definition. We're going to talk about tautologies and a compound statement that is always true is a tautology, okay? So what does that look like? Well, I have an example, all right? Let's say you have P and not P, and so you want to have P or not P, okay? This is the statement that you want to uh, verify here. Well, P can either be true or false, so then not P has the opposite value, false and then true. And so for the or statement, you're looking back and you leave just at least one true. Well, there's at least one true, so it's true. There's at least one true, so it's true. And so this statement is always true, so it is a tautology. Is the previous example a tautology? Well, let's go back and look. Oh, look, I have a false in here. And so with a false, this is not going to be a tautology. So we're going to say um, no. Okay. <clears throat> now, example number three. We're going to construct a slightly bigger one. As you'll notice, I have my not P that I'm going to need to take care of. I have the or Q that I'm not going to need to take care of. Then I have my not Q that I'm going to need to take care of. And then finally, I'm going to connect those with the and. So I notice I have P and Q. And so I'm going to always start off with those. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. All right. And so now to do this connective first with the parentheses, I have to get my not P. So here's my not P. And so true becomes false, true becomes false. False becomes true, false becomes true, okay? Now, I need the connective. I need to put these two things together. These two columns are going to go together in not P or Q. And so I have at least one true statement, so it's true. I don't have at least one true statement, so it's false. I have at least one true statement, so it's true. I have at least one true statement, so it's true, all right? Now, I'd like to put these together, but I need the not Q first. So not Q is going to go in the next one so that those two columns are adjacent for the big not P or Q and not Q. So hopefully you can see this is one column right here. This is the other column that's going to be right here. And so I'm only looking back at adjacent columns. And so not Q is going to be false, true, false, true.
picture. And you can see, looking back more than a couple of columns makes it a little difficult. So be really careful here. All right. And then finally, last but not least, it's the and. So you have to have both true. They aren't both true, so it's false. They aren't both true, so it's false. They aren't both true, so it's false. They are both true, so it's true. So we're only true in this one bright shining spot right here. This is the only place where it's true. And that uh, makes us happy because we're done and I'm always happy when we're done. All right. This concludes this video. The next video we're going to construct truth tables with three statements and that's going to give us eight cases. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and good night.